Hello, YouTube, and uh, welcome back to another video. And uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, daily clean. And um, once again, I'm talking to you from the upstairs bedroom because I'm going to be uh, testing out the Dyson Big Ball uh, Animal Cylinder Cleaner. And we're going to be doing the upstairs first. It's only a very small house, this is, so I'll do my own bedroom here first. Um, with the machine and then I will go and just do in the vacuum room which is in the back there and then um, I'll be taking it downstairs what I want to try and do is uh, a video of it doing the stairs but I might do that in a separate video because I haven't used this to do the stairs yet and uh, I'm gonna have to maybe not have enough time to do the stairs as well so I might just do that as a separate video, stair cleaning using this because I don't think it's going to be that straightforward with this machine because the hose is only about 1.5 metres on this it doesn't stretch very far up the stairs so it's not a matter of being able to put it at the top of the stairs and do from the top down and then from the bottom up because it won't meet in the middle either with this machine it's a case of having to carry the machine up the stairs with you so I would imagine that I will do a separate video of how to do stairs with this. I've also found another way of being able to um, uh, extend the hose as well, but uh, most people wouldn't have a SIBO cleaner anyway, so it probably wouldn't apply to them, but I'll show you how to do it when we get down there. Anyway, I've um, just got to plug this in and then we can get going. And uh, going round upstairs as well, I may well have to hold the camera and focus it down on the floor head as we're going round because I don't have many places to put the camera upstairs to show me doing the cleaning. But uh, I will leave it where it is just to show you um, me cleaning with it in this room and then I'll pick the camera up into uh, sort of handheld. So let's get going then. And what I'll be doing, I'll be using the, um, the carbon fibre floor head on it uh, initially to go around upstairs and when we get downstairs I will more than likely have to put the um, the other floor head on it to do the, the uh, kitchen floor and in the bathroom as well because those are lino in there and uh, very short pile mats so let's have the uh, wand off on here I, I've decided the best place for those at the moment seems to be on the front of the wand in that configuration I've tried them on the side and I've tried them on the back but I seem to think that so far it seems to be the best configuration just here so that they're nice and easily to hand. Right then, so let's uh, pull the wand out, make it uh, extend. I think that's about the right length for me. Fully extend the cable. Okay.
I've excuse that bleeping noise, the uh, smoke alarm has started bleeping on me, the batteries are almost flat so that's going to have to be another job to be done. Nuisance they are. the uh, vacuum room now. Not a lot of floor space to clean in here because most of it's taken up with the bed and the, uh, the vacuum cleaners. This is their storeroom actually. I'm sure most people have seen this before now. So that's the upstairs done. It doesn't take long because it's only a two bedroom terrace that I live in. And uh, like you see, this is the, um, the vacuum rooms in here. There are some more up in the loft. Um, but there's more in here at the moment because I've been bringing a few down from the loft. Um, the, the ones we're going to be doing next, I'm bringing this one down for another review. I don't think I've ever done one on this one. Um, it's still in its box, I think I've only ever had, out, had it out of the box once. Uh, we've got the Cebo air belt here, the uh, K3 Volcano, I did a review of that a long time ago, I'm having that one down again for another another sort of um, another look. I guess that one's actually quite a nice machine. There's the box for the, uh, the Siemens we did the other day. Um, the Vax here, that's going to have to come down for another review, that's actually quite a good machine. Uh, what else have we got in here? I want to uh, later on today. I'm going to be doing a review of that light blue U2107, which is uh, pretty much a brand new machine. I had that new in box off um, off Alex Raw, who is um, pneumatic vacuum on YouTube. He sold that to me for I think it was about 89. I can't remember how much I paid him for it now, but it was one of these new old stock cleaners, and uh, I was determined I was going to have one of those. Uh, so we'll do a review of that later on today. Um, as I say, the other machines are all in here and they'll be coming down at various different times for daily cleans and other cleanups. But at the moment we're sort of focusing on the, the Dysons because these are the new machines at the moment and uh, I want to be putting them through the, the good uh, tests to see how well they perform. And uh, when you're working in tight spaces like this, a cylinder can be a little bit tricky to use. But what I used to use up here was this one. I always used to use the cylinder up here anyway, I used to use this little mealer and uh, that was actually a very good little machine. So far this seems to be okay. I've had to move the tool rack around to the side of the handle because what I was finding was that the the uh, edges of this here, this tool, were banging against my uh, thigh as I was bringing it backwards and forwards and this kept knocking against me so if I leave it on the side then hopefully that shouldn't happen. It's easy just to turn it around when you need it anyway. It's just a case of getting used to having the tools on the wand because on other cleaners that I'm used to, they're not. They're either inside the cleaner, but this one actually stored them on top of there, which I didn't like, so I took them off. So even mealers do have their flaws. 
So I mean, it's not it's not just Dyson. It's uh, Mila can put the tools in silly places as well. And I didn't like them mounted on the top of there or down on there. But anyway, let's um, get this thing ready to be taken down. And I can only apologise about that stupid smoke detector. Now this is where having that really comes into its own there when you're tugging it round and pulling it round corners, and it always writes itself. That's uh, that's so good with this because in tight spaces when you're pulling it round the corners of beds and door frames, other cleaners can tip over like Henry's. They get stuck on door frames. They tip over. Sorry, Henry, but you do have your faults. I, I don't have to say. You're not perfect, you know. Well, well I'm sorry, Henry, no, but yeah. Yeah, so you've still got a smile on your face, even though, haven't you? Mm. 35 years old, aren't you, soon? About 36. Yeah, you're nearly going to be 40 soon. Anyway, let's bring this thing downstairs. I can only apologise about my camera work because trying to tug a cylinder clean around when you're trying to film at the same time is, uh, is a little bit difficult. So let's let's take the camera down first. Then I'll put it down at the bottom of the stairs, and then uh, I'll bring the machine down. Let's do it that way. I'm going to start cleaning in this room. If I just get the camera ready to start filming in here, as soon as I bring it down, we can get going. Okay, be with you in a sec.
so that's used the um, carpet head on the carpets there. So now I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put the other head on, which is basically that one. And we're going to go into the kitchen. So I'm going to set this initially on the carpet mode because I want to go on those uh, mats in there first. I'll put the camera over here. And then uh, what I'll have to do is to plug the machine in. I can never get this thing straight for doing the kitchen shots. There we go, that'll have to do. I'll oh, no, just change the plugs. Because it's only been a six metre, it won't stretch from, from the socket in the middle of the room, so I've got to plug it in down here. So let's see how we go in the kitchen then. Oh, it won't come on. Oh, pardon me. I can't even switch the sockets on.
that's the problem when you take the thing off the end of the hose, you end up sucking things that you shouldn't do. And pulling the suction relief valve didn't help there. And sucking that toilet roller that was down the side of the toilet as well seems to have lodged in the top of here. So uh, that wasn't a very good idea to do that. So what we're going to have to do um, is pretty much empty it. But um, there's just a little bit of uh, dusting I need to do in the kitchen, so let's just quickly do that and then I'll end this video then. And I hate this stupid tripod as well. Right, take that off there. Put that on there. That on there. And that on there. So we'll leave, leave that one in here. I'm very clumsy because I'm not used to having this camera in one hand and the cylinder in the other. Uh, I'm running out of time on the camera as well, so unfortunately it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get this done before the camera cuts me off. Okay, time's up on me. I'm afraid I'm going to 